everyone. I'm Leanne Rimmel, Principal Admin Evangelist here at Salesforce. Did you know that you can do even more with your Salesforce reports using custom report types? That's right. If you've ever run into an issue with a report where there's fields that you want to filter by or include in your report or objects that aren't available um, in your standard report types, you can use custom report types to build really nimble and flexible reports that give you exactly the data that you need organized how you need it. So let's take a look. So first let's take a look at building a report for activities and opportunities. So if we wanna build a report, we've got our standard report types that come uh, with our Salesforce with all of our standard objects. And if we select create reports, when we create a new custom object, that'll be automatically added here as well. So one important thing to note when you're looking at these report type names, these are all names of report types, and it's telling you what that primary object is. So this is opportunities with or without activities. So it's gonna be looking first at opportunities, whereas with an activities report, you'd be looking first at activities and then whether or not, uh, what they had related to them. So if we're running a report using a standard report type, um, for opportunities with or without activities, we're gonna be looking at opportunities as our primary object, and any related um, activities or we're running a report on all opportunities whether or not they have activities and so we do have some you know flexibility here and so you should always try to use standard report types first in order to run your report so in this example let's say i'm trying to run a report that's not only on opportunities and account information whether or not they have activities but on those activities more details about who they're assigned to so for that i'm going to need to create a custom report type so when I go into setup, I go to report types, and this is where you can create additional report types um, to use when you're creating a new report. Um, you can't edit any of your existing standard report types, so if you don't have the field of the relationships that you need on your report, this is a great place to look. So for this one, let's make our primary object accounts, and we'll call this accounts with or without opportunities, with or without activities. It's important to be as detailed as possible in your descriptions here. It'll make it a lot easier for you later on and for your users to have good descriptions, um, a good naming mechanism here uh, that matches the standard report naming mechanism so that um, later on you know what reports to run. It can be tempting to name it, you know, accounts 2.0. Um, that can get really confusing. I also like to put a description as well. We're gonna select deployed. This just makes it available. So here we're picking our objects. We already selected our primary object and we can't modify that after we create a custom report type. Our A object is accounts. And now we can select any of those child objects or, or related objects for opportunities. And we can see the circles on the right are telling me um, kind of what set of data I'm looking at. So I'm looking at accounts with or without opportunities with or without activities. You can do up to three objects here. And this gives me a visual of my object relationships, what's included. And so what that means is this is the bucket of records that's included that you are then able to filter on. So now I have all of the fields included. So we have a lot of fields included by default, but a really great feature of custom report types is the ability to add fields via lookup. So this means if I'm adding fields from the activities object, that means that I can actually do some lookup jumps here. So right now I'm on activities and assigned to and that's a span uh, away from, so uh, users are not an object that's included in this report, but I can still report on them. I can still include fields. You can do up to four object spans. If you're not seeing the fields you need, you don't always need the objects to be um, one of your primary objects or one of your objects in your report type. Sometimes you can just bring in the field. So in this example, I wanna bring in some additional fields about the, um, the campaign related to the opportunity. I also wanted to bring in some fields about the users and their roles and profiles. So it's important to always take a step back and think about, am I making the most flexible report type possible? And do I need to have actual objects included? Or can I include those related via lookup? So then once I save my custom report type, because I checked deployed um, in the beginning, then that makes it um, available for use. So I'm ready to make a new report with that custom report type. So I go to new reports and I can see my accounts with and without opportunities, with and without activities. And when you're creating a report, you can always check the report type at the top in the bubble, the accounts with and without opportunities. 
So, and with or without activity. So that's how you can make sure you're in the right report type. Um, a lot of reporting issues when you're not able to pull the data you want, it's important to always look at what report type you're using because the report type defines what objects and what object relationships you're looking at to begin with when you're creating your filters and your initial report. So I'm gonna remove my filters here. Now I can start to group. So I can group by account name. Um, and all of those fields I added are available to be added as columns, they're available to, for grouping, for filtering. And so this is a really useful way to say, maybe pull in additional information like I wanted assigned to, but I also wanted more information about the roles. So these are those fields I added via lookup. So often when people are running into um, limits with what they can do with reports or being able to run the reports they want, um, and maybe you wanna look at relationships or, or data from more than three objects, one of your solutions may very well be creating a custom report type with those spanning lookups to pull in information from other objects. And that's how we can quickly use custom report types to give us even more flexible reports. Awesome, so now we're ready to build great custom report types and build awesome reports using those report types. Um, to learn more about how to build awesome custom reports and report types, make sure to check out this trailhead module that will show you all the ins and outs of reports and how you can build some awesome reports, especially in Lightning. So that's all for today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos and we will see you next time.